we'll discuss the effective water table on the bearing capacity for which we can we shall take a case number one where dw is less than df which means like this depth of a water table below the ground level is less than the depth of the foundation so the foundation level is here and the water level is here dw is less than tf and of course if you might recollect that whatever soil that comes above the water table is gamma unit weight bulk unit weight and whatever that comes below it will be saturated or submerged in case of effective stress so i've marked it as gamma above the water table and gamma dash below the water table again you can see that the dw when is equal to zero means that the water table is at the ground level and if dw is equal to df it means that the water table is at the foundation level we'll take the first case dw is equal to zero which means the water table is at the ground level so in that case it means that the soil below the ground level is completely saturated so we need to take care of that by accommodating gamma dash in these two terms so c and c plus gamma dash df and q plus half gamma dash b and gamma so both these unit weights will be submerged unit weights because the soil below the ground level is completely submerged now if case number 1b is when dw is equal to df which means dw is equal to df meaning water table is at the foundation level which means the soil above the foundation level will have unit weight gamma and soil below the foundation level you will have to consider gamma dash so c and c plus gamma df and q plus half gamma dash b and gamma now for you to uh, remember this it's quite simple gamma df simply means that it is a surcharge load acting at this foundation level so gamma df is nothing but the stress offered by the soil in this region the region between the ground level and the foundation level so depending on that if the soil is saturated you will have to consider gamma dash and if the soil is not saturated you will have to consider gamma so the third term is something related to the soil below the foundation level first term is something related to cohesion second term is something related to the soil above the foundation level and third term is something related to the soil below the foundation level for you to understand of course there's an interesting derivation on how you arrive at this equation based on basic physics but that is not included in your syllabus it's an interesting uh, derivation if you're interested you can you can refer standard textbooks by Bowles or, or Brajam Das or anything and you can and you can get a note on how this equation was arrived at nonetheless uh, this is the effect of water table when the water table is above the foundation level now the next case is where the water table is below the foundation level which means dw is great which means as you can see in this picture dw is greater than df or the water table is below the foundation level and of course the soil above the water table will have a unit weight of gamma and the soil below the water table you'll have to consider the submerged unit weight and the general equation in this case is qu is equal to cnc plus gamma df and q plus half gamma bar b and gamma now you don't have to worry about the gamma of the second term because it will not change it will still remain the bulk unit weight in this case because the water table is well below the foundation level and the soil above the foundation level will of course be of bulk nature so you don't have to worry about this term now in the third term you have gamma bar which is explained like this gamma dash plus dw minus df by b into gamma minus gamma bar i'm, I'm sorry gamma minus gamma dash so uh, though that equation looks a bit complicated further explanations might give you a better understanding we'll go to case number 2a where dw is equal to df which means dw is equal to df meaning water table is at the foundation level 
which means again the soil above the water table or the foundation level will have gamma and the soil below the foundation level will have gamma dash so cnc plus gamma dfnq plus half gamma dash bn gamma now this case number 2a is nothing but case number 1b discussed in the previous slide so the second term will have gamma and the third term will have gamma dash now case number 2b is when the water table moves further and is at a depth of df plus b which means from the ground level it moves to a depth of df and further it moves to a depth equal to breadth of the foundation somewhere here let's assume so in that case the equation is cnc plus gamma df nq plus half gamma b n gamma which means when the water table is at a depth of df plus b or even beneath below that there's no effect of water on estimating the bearing capacity you just have to consider gamma so and if the water table is somewhere in between this level of df and df plus b gamma bar comes into picture and you'll have to consider this general equation so that is the story in short on the effect of water table